Good morning. I am Dr. Dawn Buckingham, Texas Land Commissioner. It is exciting to be standing here before you with Mayor Watson and our Texas working families to announce the release of the solicitation for what I hope will be the single most transformational workforce housing project in this country. Anytime the state can come together with Austin and work collaboratively for the benefits of the residents, we all win. Welcome to the 21st Century General Land Office, where we are breaking through the old ways of doing things and changing our perspective to look out 20, 50, 100 years into the future with an eye as to what will make Texas better. I have one metric for this agency's performance, and that is to serve those you're supposed to serve and do it well. As a mom, wife, surgeon, former volunteer firefighter, senator, and the first woman Texas Land Commissioner, I know the difficulties our working Texas families face. To announce this historic undertaking, I am honored to stand here today with our police, firefighters, nurses, teachers, state employees, and so many others who simply cannot afford to live near where they work. For our working families and for everyone who benefits from the services they provide, I am looking for a visionary proposal to bring substantial workforce housing with childcare to this site. Let's review how we got here. In 2019, then Senator Watson, very brilliant and for, <laughs> foresight, um, passed a bill initiating this process. This project will ultimately generate revenue for the permanent school fund which I call the Children's Fund, which is the single largest educational endowment in the nation. Our plan will also ensure that teachers, nurses, police, and firefighters who are needed to educate and keep our kids safe can afford to live and work in Austin. We at the Texas General Land Office roll up our sleeves every day to make Texans' lives better. We steward over 13 million acres, run the Alamo, and this last year gave over $2 billion to the Children's Fund. Additionally, we serve veterans, manage our coast, and help Texans recover from big fires, floods, and hurricanes. I am pleased to present qualified investors and developers with the unique opportunity to collaborate with our agency on the redevelopment of the Hobby Building, located here at 333 Guadalupe Street. This is a premier mixed-use vertical redevelopment site in the heart of downtown Austin. I will say it again. It is my goal to build as much workforce housing as possible on this site, hopefully coupled with amenities that downtown residents need, such as childcare, parking, and retail spaces. Now, some developers may not hear me or think that I am not serious. If we do not get a response matching our goals the first time around, we will put it out for solicitation again. As the General Land Office is issuing a written solicitation, we will not be taking any questions today so that everyone has an equal opportunity to respond. Thank you again for joining us today. May God bless you and may God continue to bless the great state of Texas. I am Dr. Don Buckingham, your Texas Land Commissioner, and I will now pass the podium to the mayor for his comments. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I want to say thank you to Commissioner Buckingham, and I appreciate the great opportunity to be here and join all of these folks as, as part of this very important announcement that's important both for the state of Texas and for the state's capital city, the city of Austin. The commissioner just mentioned that in 2019, I filed Senate Bill 1349, uh, which was uh, a bill that when I filed that as a senator, I certainly didn't expect that I would be standing here as mayor uh, while we take this big step for downtown Austin. But my objective with that legislation was twofold. First, it was to improve working conditions for our state employees who were serving the people of Texas every day in a dilapidated, rat-infested building. Uh, by the way, getting rid of the creepy parking garage that feels like you're in a set of a horror movie, that's just a bonus to the whole thing. <laughs> the second reason was that I wanted to activate this prime downtown block for the benefit of the community and for the benefit of the state of Texas, as the commissioner has indicated. And what we're talking about here today 
What the commissioner has laid out is way bigger than just a downtown high rise. It's bigger than just getting rid of a beat up old structure. By including and focusing on workforce housing as a part of this redevelopment process, Commissioner Buckingham is choosing to make a variety of her constituents front and center in this project. She is challenging the respondents to be creative and explore different approaches and partnerships to help address the need for workforce housing in our city. She is adding to Austin's landscape by saying the capital of Texas, filled with a lot of public servants who serve the people of the state, county, city, school district, should act to help to make housing available to those workers and public servants. She is saying that such an effort in our state capital is worthy of our great state. And of course, we are joined here today by representatives of the hardworking people that we want them to be able to live and serve in Austin, Texas. I'll point out that in addition, the Austin Light Rail Line will eventually be running right along this block. Uh, imagine how easy it would be for a state employee living here to jump on the light rail and head to work at the state capitol in the capitol complex. Imagine the cost savings for a state employee who no longer has to rely on a car to get to work. Imagine how that would be with childcare in the same facility. Imagine how different this project could be if we're solving our problems for the people that live and work in this city. The proximity of light rail also has the potential to change the calculus for this project and support the mission of creating more workforce housing. For those developers out there that are looking at a landmark possibility, consider the financing opportunities that could come with workforce housing on a rail line. Many people don't know that Austin, Texas is the only city in America that has an emerging projects agreement with the Build America Bureau of the Federal Department of Transportation that allows for there to be additional financing and funding that's not available on just every project, but on a project related to workforce housing that's on a rail line, I anticipate that there will be opportunities for that. This is a big challenge, and I am pleased that Commissioner Buckingham has challenged the community. It's also an amazing opportunity for the right developer with the right vision. I'm excited. Uh, it's going to be exciting to see who wants to step up and help us address this challenge together. So I want to say thank you to Commissioner Buckingham again. I look forward to working on the collaboration for our shared constituents. Thank you, Commissioner. All right. I think that will conclude our press conference. Thank you again for attending, and we look forward to seeing how this transformational project unfolds. Thank you.